Hey guys, okay, back with another haul. This is kind of a large Mondo uh, haul. It's a collective haul from, it wasn't all at once, it was a couple different places, and over the course of a couple weeks, uh, my birthday's coming up really soon. Um, and let's see, three weeks, three weeks I think. Anyway, um, my husband and I a long time ago <laughs> decided that instead of stressing out over things like birthdays and, um, well, it doesn't really apply to our anniversary. We usually go out for our anniversary, but birthdays and stuff like that, Mother's Day, Father's Day, even Christmas, instead of stressing out about, like, oh, what should I get him? What should I get her? And, like, trying to be... It gets, like, stressful, right? I mean, uh, anyway, we don't really do that. Instead, we just say, okay, here, go get what you want. Enjoy. Happy birthday, kind of thing. Um, we'll get each other random gifts, like thinking, oh, I saw this and thought of you, or I was thinking of you and found something. But for for birthdays, it tends to be kind of get your own thing. Uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day, we give each other like a, a chance to just go do something that we want for the day, either on our own or, you know, whatever. Anyway, we're going to call this my birthday haul. <laughs> it's a little early, but that's what it is. It's a lot of stuff. Um, should I start with? Um, I'll start with some of the, there's a lot of incense, but I'll start with, I got an order from The Dipper. This is my first time ever ordering from them. I never even heard of them. I only ever got incense, um, either from shops or on Amazon that were the, uh, I like the Satya incense, of the Indian incense is all I ever usually get, but I saw Lady Grave Dancer, I think, um, is, really likes The Dipper, or was it? Ember Honey Raven made both of them. I don't know. They're both awesome. So I looked up the Dipper's website and I'm like, let's give them a try. So I got two incense burners. I got just a regular small one. What do you call this kind? It's not a uh, coffin. What do you call it? Tombstone? Yeah, because it looks like, uh, like a headstone thing. And then it has the slide out drawer for storage. And these are pretty cheap. I think. Where did I put the... Uh, I can't remember where I put the invoice, but anyway, they're only a couple dollars. And then I got, they sell the Mondo big, huge incense that burn for like three hours. And I didn't have a burner for those at all. So I got one. Look at how big this is. This is insane. Um, but I got the, just it's just a um, coffin style one. And they have this little, on the right, there we go. This little door that opens so you can store them in there, which is cool. And then I got the one with the elephant and it's on the other side too a little elephant um but yeah and i think these are only like i want to say these are 12 and this one was like four ah i should have got the invoice but anyway go check out it's just the dipper.com you can see the prices so i only got one pack of the really big incense this time because i wanted to try a bunch of different scents from them since it was my first time getting from them before i committed to like a gigantic incense that's gonna burn for like four hours. I didn't want to not like it. So I wanted to decide what scents from them I liked first and the smaller ones before I got, you know what I mean. Okay. So the big one that I got is Enchanted Forest. And this, I knew I would like this because it's, yeah, oh, it's piney and it's just, and how cool is it that there's like glitter in these things? Like that's really unique. These are like, pine and I mean just foresty very I that is a scent to me anything like piney like that I just absolutely adore the small ones let me put them up here so you're not constantly looking at the side of my head um the small ones they had a thing they all well I guess they always have it where you buy so many you get a free pack so for the small ones it was buy 10 of them and then you got two for free so I got Nog Chompa, which, and I haven't really smelled all these yet. Um, that's, that's an interesting Nog Chompa, not, not what I'm used to from the Sai Baba, like original Nog Chompa, but um, it's almost got like a sweet kind of note to it in the background. I got cedar and saffron, skin I like, I'm, I'm very about the woodsy scent, so you know, cedar and saffron. This one too kind of has like a, I wonder if they're going to smell different burning. I should have, I should have burned one before, but I think you, most of you have probably heard of this company. It's like got a sweet, 
That's the only way I can describe it. It's like a sweet undertone. Really interesting for an infant. And then I got Himalayan sandalwood. So I'll give you a quick first impression of this scent. Um, yeah, it's sandalwood, but again, it's got that like sweet, and this one almost like undertone. This one kind of has like a powdery undertone to it too. And then I got Dream Catcher. And, ooh, that's nice. That This one's really um, clean. This is a really clean smell, maybe even a little bit of lavender in there. It's, oh, yeah, it's really nice. It's kind of like, it's not really like a fresh linen clean, like laundry detergent, but s sort of, but with, like, I definitely smell some lavender. Really soothing, very appropriately named. African Sunrise. I think this is one of the free ones they sent me after they ordered I don't remember what I ordered and what was free. Except for the one I know was free I didn't order. Because I looked at so many and then put a whole bunch in my little car and then took out and narrowed it down. So African Sunrise. Hmm, it doesn't smell like I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to be really kind of like musky. I don't know how to describe this. Again, almost like a sweet... I don't know, but they look really cool too. Look how cool they are. They're like yellow with like splotches. I don't think that matters, but it's just a little something, just a little something different, a little something extra. But they're like colorful. And then I got Warm Apple Crisp, which I love these kinds of smells, like fall, autumn kind of smells. But I usually, it's usually something I'll get in like a wax melt or a candle or something like that. Um, <clears throat> I never buy incense like this with like scents like this. I usually just go for the traditional kind of incense smells. So, oh, it's good. Yeah, warm apple crisp. Yeah, that's really good with like kind of that like smoky incense kind of like edge to it. This is really good. This is really good. Um, I think I'll light one of those when I go in. Even though it's June and it's very much a fall smell, I don't care. Yeah, it's June second today and I have a hoodie on. It's like chilly out here. I'm in the northeast part of the country, but still, it shouldn't be this chilly. We've got some cold front coming in. Rain. And these are like a really pretty blue color, which is cool. Uh, very appropriately named. Fresh. Fresh and clean. At really nice. A lot of like rain and after the rain kind of scents tend to be a little cloying and just sick and perfumey and whatever, but that's not. It's really good. And then I got, of course, I got some frankincense and myrrh. Frankincense is one of my favorite scents in the world. The, the essential oil, the real thing, but um, yeah, this is, yeah, this is like a frankincense and myrrh, uh, like a fragrance oil kind of thing. It doesn't to me smell like the real thing. It smells like, you know, a synthetic version of it, a fragrance oil, but it's really good though. It's definitely good. Cinnamon, just because you have to have cinnamon incense. Whoa, yeah, cinnamon. <laughs> Nothing else really to say. We all know what cinnamon smells like. Patchouli flower, I love patchouli. Love, love, love it. Let's see how this holds up to my patchouli connoisseur news. Hmm, that's good. Yeah, um, that's really nice, actually. Yeah, it's it's patchouli, but it's not that um, real heady, um, deep kind of patchouli, which I do love. Um, the darker, the more aged, the better for me for patchouli. But uh, patchouli flower, yeah, it's really nice. It's like a light, like a light patchouli. Really good. And then. Um, okay, these were, yeah, I'm pretty sure these were the two free ones they sent me. One's called Ancient Times. Sounds very mysterious. Is it getting really dark? I'm sorry if the lighting's bad. It's like, I'm picking a rough time to do this video outside. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, hmm, how would I describe this? Musky? Definitely musk, which, I mean, ancient times, you would think, yeah, you would expect that. I don't know what else is in there, but it's like a musky kind of smell. Look how pretty purple they are. So cool. 
Well, that's a good one. Yeah, I would definitely repurchase that. And the other free one is Ecstasy. <laughs> oh, not a fan. Um, <laughs> I think this is like fruity. Really freaking sweet. Like candy sweet. Which is probably, that's probably the idea. It kind of smells like candy. And, you know, Raven, the Raven, the ecstasy. Yeah, it's very uh, candy, sweet. If you like that sort of thing, I might give those away to a friend. Anyhow, uh, the free samples they sent me were a dragon's blood. Maybe I'm the only witch on the face of the earth who is not a fan of dragon's blood scent. But let me tell you, I have a valid reason why. I've said it in... Um, another video that I have a soap company and I make and sell handmade soap and that kind of thing and uh dragon's blood fragrance is so intense and strong like when you're working with it full strength and adding it to soap or a product it's intense and then you got this whole big like six pounds of soap curing in your house and you smell all these smells like really intensely more so than if you just bought one bar and used it you know and you're making it anyway it gives me a headache my husband loves it. My customers love it. I have to wear like a mask when I make the dragon's blood scent and stuff. So it's just like turned me off of it altogether. So we'll see. And my friend Bobby, if you're watching Bobby, hey, <laughs> dragon's blood loves it. So if I don't like these, I'll give them to him. Although, you know, he can't use incense. I think it bothers his allergies. Anyway, um, not what I typically expect dragon's blood to smell like. It's not nearly as, I think I could do, I think I could use these. I think they're not, it's not, it doesn't have that like really shock factor in your face. I don't know, it, they're good. It's not, it's not what I'm used to with dragon's blood. Uh, so that's interesting. Another free sample is Angel Essence. And I have a feeling I'm gonna like this right off the bat. The reason it's got like essence and tends, tends to be perfumey. And I'm. Yeah. Perfumey. If you like that, like, um, old fashioned floral perfume type smell, you will like this. Not my thing at all. But anyway, they were free, you know? Give them away to somebody at some point. And then I just picked up a uh, regular, just plain, um, Ash catcher. These are a dollar from them. Uh, and I got this. I don't know. I might either keep it and use it for Sawen since it's orange or um, friends of mine. Uh, we're going to do like a little Sabat box exchange. That's such a cool idea. Oh, and that's something else. I'll, I'll show you guys too. I signed up for a uh, Sabat box. It's like a it's not monthly. It's every Sabat. So it's like 45 days or whatever. They, they send you a box of um Pagan witchy products that are themed around that Sabbat, and yeah, it's like thirty some dollars a month, and it ships automatically, and you can cancel at any time, kind of things. But that's coming up soon. I should be. I think they're shipping out the Alitha box on maybe the sixth of June, so I should be getting that soon, and I'll definitely do an unboxing and first impression of that. But anyway. My friends and I are kind of doing the same thing just within our within each other. We're just going to put a little thing together and kind of um, assign them numbers and pull numbers out of like a cauldron or something and then uh, just swap. We're going to do it once for every every time we get together. So this might, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll save that for a special gift. Anyway, that's it from the Dipper. Okay, moving on. I got stuff from Amazon, quite a bit from Amazon. I got a couple of things from, not TJ Maxx, what's the other one? Ross, Ross's. And then also, where else did I go? Michael's, and I better hurry up, it's getting dark. I could turn my lights on, my patio lights. I don't know, we'll see. Can you guys see? Should I pause and do that? Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, that's gonna be a little better. Might be a little weird color, but sympathy. Tea, in case you're wondering. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ross's. I get this cool 
pillar candle holder. It's pretty big. Um, it's not that heavy. It's not like anything, you know, sturdy. Stuff you get in like Ross and TJ Maxx is not. I mean, it's just kind of made shot of crap, but sometimes it looks like it's not. And I thought this had like a, because it's got the like wear off the white paint, I thought it looked really cool. And I like the design. And I like how tall it is because I wanted a really tall pillar candle holder for my altar because just for just aesthetically because it's in our middle room and you see it um, it just needed some like height variant so then I also picked up at and I think I paid seven or eight dollars for this and then I also grabbed this pillar candle at Ross it's orange and I want to say this was two dollars maybe two ninety nine it's supposed to be tangerine scented. I mean, you smell a little bit, but actually I'm glad when they're, I sniff them all to make sure they're not too strong because if I'm using incense and stuff, I don't want scent from the candle messing with it. I just buy it for the color, but it has a cool like design on it. And for two bucks, I've had this on my altar for a couple of days. Uh, what else did I get from Ross? I got a pack of, there's only two left in here, but I got a pack of six just white plain white taper candles and these were $2.99 did I get anything else from Ross that might be it okay on to oh I just found the dipper invoice I want to tell you really quick how much that big one is just because I feel terrible so the big the big coffin one is the big coffin burner is 12 um and yeah the smaller one is 350 that's why I was close Anyway, so I ran in Michael's um, because they were having a sale. Everything I got was 50 or 60% off. Uh, a lot of it was not was for my business, um, so I don't have it to show in the hall, but I'm showing the things that are kind of more oh, gee, that I picked up. So I got this box. They always have these boxes in there. There's all different sizes. You can guess I have a ginormous one. Um... But they always have these, and um, it's just like cardboard, but it's got like a magnetic closure, and I love them, and they're they're on sale a lot, and if not, you have a coupon, but these were 60% off when I was in there, and I love what this said, and I'm using it for little odds and ends. When I journal, I feel like I'm having to, hold on. okay, I feel like I'm having to like scratch to not have the top of my head get off. Um, when I journal, I do like mixed media kind of like I like to use um, stickers and pressed herbs and pressed leaves and make it kind of like three dimensional. I do that with my book of shadows, my book of mirrors, journals. I keep a lot of different journals for various reasons. I'll do a video on that one day. You're probably going to laugh at how many how obsessed with stationery I am. But I just got for this box. I'm just using for things like that, like different colored pens, stickers, washi tape. I think I picked up this washi tape actually at Michaels too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think this was a set. I have more, but this one was just like right on top in there. So this one I thought was cool because it's keys. Washi tape is awesome. Love that stuff. The other thing I found at Michaels that is for my witchy type journaling. I don't know, did I get this on Amazon? I don't remember. It's either from Michaels or Amazon, but either way, it was like a dollar. This is stickers. So they're just stickers, and they're called, a, what is it? An Eerie Tale Collection. That's a really cool. You see the witch, and then it's magical. There's like some pumpkins. Um, but I love to utilize things like this in, like I said, book of shadows, journals, whatever. I just, it adds just such a personal, like, touch. Okay, we'll move on to Amazon. Oh, one more thing. This is from somewhere totally, blah, blah. somewhere totally separate. Um, one of the supplier companies that I buy things off of for making my soap for my business is called Mad Oils. And I was ordering some other things from them and noticed that they had frankincense tears and myrrh gum on sale for really cheap. So I picked up containers for those. And, okay, so we'll move on to Amazon, and that's it. I told you this was a lot of stuff. So, incense whore that I am, I got a buttload of incense. I won't go through each one, because it'd be boring. You don't want to sit here forever in a day. But on Amazon, they have, like, a 
Ooh. I got a, like, just a pack of, how many are Yeah, you got a pack of 12 of Hem Brand's best selling incense, and there's just 12 different ones, so I just went that route. Some of these I'm not too crazy over. Um, like, van I get, there's Vanilla, Divine Blessings, uh, the lavender's okay. Cinnamon's pretty good. Clove is weird. Rose is okay. Sandalwood I love. I get off them all the time. This anti-stress one though, this is fantastic. Hem anti-stress. This smells so good. Um, like I said, there's a lavender one in there too and it's not that great. And this, obviously, you know, anti-stress is one of the components has to be lavender. I mean, it definitely smells so. But this is like, hold on, let me see if I can give you kind of more accurate. Oh man, there's definitely lavender in there, but that's not the only thing, but it is so stinking good. And anti-stress, yeah, I'm going to use these for, and I'm going to get a big box when I, ne next time I, you know, need to order incense, which is never, but I'm going to get a big box and use these for meditation because they're so, yeah, it's very soothing. Uh, and then there's their lotus. Um, does anybody know how to say that? I don't know. It smells pretty good though. Uh, yeah, bless it. You know, just jasmine, sandalwood, musk. You know, normal. Just Hem's bestseller pack. And then I've never tried these before. Um, these are like a love it or hate it kind of thing. And a lot of times when there's a love it or hate it, especially with a scent like patchouli, for example, you either love it or hate it. This is what I have noticed, especially being in the business of things that are fragranced. I tend to be one of those people that loves them as long as they're not floral. This is called Woods. I figured it was going to be right up my alley. Um, and oh my god, these, if you've never tried these, they're, pr they're kind of pricey. I got these on Amazon too. You got two two boxes of I think you know, 10 or 12 in there it's like seven dollars they're not cheap but they're all natural they're not made with fragrance oil they're made with resins and oils spilled my tea these are wicked strong like oh my god so strong my whole house smelled and for like hours after it was done burning and they burned for like two hours I mean just crazy and it smells really good very yeah woods I will also say too, if you pick these up in the store, if you're thinking about it, if you're at a shop and you smell the box through the box and you don't really like it, they smell pretty significantly different when burning. Like I like the smell of the box anyway, but they smell 10,000 times better burning and quite different. So worth a try because I think these are just so fantastic. And then I got from Amazon a little chime candle holder. I know it's getting dark. Can you see it's blue with stars? I'm going to try to hurry because it's getting dark. I got some books. I got Wheels of Life, a user's guide to the chakra system by, I know some of these people, their names, I don't know, I can't even, I'm not even going to try and butcher that right now, but I got this used on Amazon for like $10 where brand new, it's like 15 and this looks like brand new, there's nothing, I mean, so check out the used books on Amazon. I got two packs of chime candles multicolored there's two of each color in here so I got 40 chime candles these are really cheap on Amazon too if, I think they're the first thing that come up if you go on Amazon and type in chime candles or um, magic candles they'll be the first ones that come up uh, another book I got is the four agreements this book you guys I'm gonna do a whole video talking about this book if you have not read this book you need to. It is cheap. It is short. The print is large. You will get through it quickly. I am more than halfway through and I've had it for two days and I haven't spent much time with it. And that's even with like taking notes and that kind of thing along with it. This is fantastic. I This is recommended witchy reading for sure. I think everybody like on the planet should read this book. Really. Not just witches. But totally. I'm going to do a whole video on that book. This is kind of random. Pens. Big pens. But they're green, and um, it's just a pack of 12 green pens, and then I, I got these for my business, for if people are signing receipts or anything like that, or if I'm filling out 
um, a receipt at a festival or an event or something like that or kind of most a lot of things I'm just I think it's cool to write with green um, money drawing you know just a little bit of color magic infused into day-to-day -day life without really kind of thinking about it I'll put my intent obviously into the idea and concept and like you know I don't know if I'll charm the pens maybe why not <laughs> The Crystal Bible, yeah, I haven't, um, it's been sitting in my Amazon wish list forever. I finally got it because my crystal collection is starting to grow and some of them I do not remember what they're called. I am not, um, a rock expert. Not yet, anyway. I'm getting really into it, but, um, not one by any means. I need this, yeah, staple in the, in the library. Oh, and then I got, one of my altars is a bookshelf that's really, and I know it's getting really dark. One of, my it, one of my altars is a bookshelf that's really shallow, so I can't use a square altar cloth on it, so I needed something that was like a table runner, so I kind of just typed that into Amazon. <laughs> like, I think I typed table runner altar cloth, or like Wiccan table runner, something like that. But here is, I don't know if you can see it all, oh, it's getting really dark, but it's got three, and I have it upside down got three pentacles across it and it's black and then it has this gold trim it looks very similar to the altar cloth that I have on my other altar it's the other one I have is this is just like a really thin material but it was nice and cheap and it's perfect for my needs I got another journal like I need another journal like I need a hole in the head but I got this specifically because I'm starting to work with tarot so I got this specifically for um, journaling about um, learning about tarot I thought it was cool it looks like it has like do you see maybe it's just me but do you see like eyes I don't know. I did. Really cheap on Amazon. Last but not least, before I lose last little bits of daylight, this is my very first tarot deck purchase ever, peeps. Ever. Um, I'm sure a lot of tarot people out there would be like, you should have got a better tarot deck. <laughs> but um, this was only like $11 on Amazon. Really cheap. And um, I've been working with Oracle cards for a while, and I'm finally just going to get into tarot. And this was, it's called Easy Tarot, Learn to Read the Cards Once and for All. Um, it's, put, it's put out by Luan, um, but it comes with, obviously, cards, um, a book, and then this cool um, it's a Celtic, uh, Celtic cross spread, but it's like this big thing that you lay on your table and literally put the cards on and it tells you where and what they mean. So that was, a, I think that's a nifty little kind of resource thing that came with it. Um, the cards themselves, I don't know if anybody's ever seen these, I'll just go really quick because I know I'm like in pitch blackness at this point. They're not bad. But I just got these to learn. Um, it was cheap, it came with a book, and it was specifically for learning the cards. Um, for somebody who has no clue what they're doing. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you those because I know it's like really dark and nobody's probably watching anymore at this point because this video took forever. But if you did watch to the end, thanks. Um, and uh, I'll be back really soon, like I said, with that Sabat box. I think that's gonna be fantastic. It's like a brand new company, it's something that just started. Um, yeah, so that'll be awesome. I'll be back with that and lots of little topics, probably more hauls, that kind of thing. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Blessed be.